this point, we have finished the schematic, and we have three checks that we're going to do. The first is with our own Mark 1 eyeball that we've already completed. In this video, we're going to walk through how to validate the design by performing some electrical rule checks. Always important to keep in mind that just because our schematic project passed an ERC test doesn't mean it's going to work. The ERC can't tell us about the functionality of our circuit. All it's going to do is tell us about some of the obvious mistakes in the connectivity. Let's take a look at how we do this. So here is our completed schematic. And before we go any further, it's always important to save. And you'll notice under the Project tab and the Panels for Projects, you'll notice that we have a little star next to the name of our schematic sheet. And that means we haven't saved it. And so we want to right mouse click and save. And now it's saved. At this point, I think it's good. Let's do an electrical rule check. And the way we do that is we validate the schematic. And it's part of the project. And so it's really under project. We're going to validate PCB project. And our project, remember, is practice one. So we're going to select this. And now we're going to perform an electrical rule test. Let's run it. We're done. Gee, it's really hard to see the result. Where are the results? Well, that's because it's in the message panel. And so we look down here. And if we don't have the option to view messages in this particular uh, tab, then it's a panel. So we go to the secret panel button. And we look for messages. Oh, here it is. And so we can just click this. And it'll automatically open up the message panel. And there it is. And, and look no errors found. What a wonderful sign to get. That says, hey, we did everything at least electrically correct. Doesn't tell us the circuit's going to work. It just says, hey, there are no obvious misconnections. Let's suppose that we hadn't done it that way. Maybe we left a couple of these nets off. Suppose we didn't have a ground connection for that capacitor. Or um, let's suppose that um, uh, we left this circuit here. Uh, we didn't connect uh, those elements to it. Let's see what would happen if we did an electrical rule check. So we come over to our projects panel. We identify our project. And we can get there either through the project menu or if we right mouse click, we have validate PCB project practice. Let's run it. Good chunk. We're done. Again, what, where are the results? We have to go to the message panel. And now we see, uh-oh, there's a potential error. It says, hey, net, this particular net has only one pin associated with it. And if you have a net with only um, one pin on it, generally that's an indication that you know, something's missing. And we come down here to the bottom and we look at the details. We'll pull this up a little bit. This is the net. Now, where is that? I, gosh, you know, it's so hard to see where it is. And so if we click the wire and we double click it, there, it's in a zoomed out window. It's showing us that's the wire where we have that problem. Uh, it's on that capacitor. Or if we collect the, the pin, it's telling us the same thing. That's where it's unconnected. We don't have anything else connected to this guy here. And now, we want to fix that. And so, to fix that, we click on the schematic. And we've unhighlighted that problem. We've identified where that problem is. And this says, oh yeah, we want to add a... Uh, ground connection to that. It says there's something going on with that. And we're done. Now, it did not pull up these guys that are unconnected. Let's run the test again. So we go to Projects. We grab our project. Right mouse click. Validate the PCB project. And now let's see. And hey, compile successful. No errors. Even though we had these guys unconnected, it still said, OK, it's up to you what you want to do there. It's not considered to be an error or even a warning. And so this is why it's important to keep in mind that an ERC doesn't find all the potential problems, just some of them. And so we need to go back and, and fix these. That's where our, um, our, our Mark I eyeball is supposed to catch uh, these sorts of problems. So let's wire them up. And now I think we're done. We've gone through and uh, identified uh, any potential problems with our Mark I eyeball. Uh, we've done an electrical rule check. Uh, it's compiled successfully. Let's do one more time since we made a couple of changes here. We'll go and we'll say validate. It's done. 
We look at we look at messages. Hey, look, successful compile. There are no errors found. Always a good sign. Now, before we push it to the layout, it's useful to get another pair of eyeballs to take a look at our schematic and just verify whether um, there's anything obvious that we've done wrong. And that's where a peer design review is really valuable. So if you have that opportunity, ask one of your neighbors, ask one of your friends uh, in order to uh, do a quick check of the schematic, make sure you've got it right. After that, we're ready to push it over to the actual layout for our board.